and welcome to EdmontonRheumatology.com's discussion on TNF blockers. Biologics are a relatively new type of disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug, or DMARD. TNF blockers are the most common type of biologic. TNF is a protein involved in the body's immune system, which causes inflammation. By blocking TNF, inflammation is reduced and arthritis improves. There are five different TNF blockers currently available. Infliximab or Remicade, which is given as an intravenous infusion every eight weeks. Etanercept or Enrel, which is given as an injection under the skin weekly. Adalumumab or Humira, which is an injection every second week. Golumumab or Symphony, which is injected monthly. And Sirtiluzumab or Simzia, which is injected every second week. To date, Studies have not shown any significant difference to say any TNF blocker is better than the other. Further, potential side effects and precautions are all similar. The benefits of TNF blockers include improvement in resolution of joint swelling, less pain, decreased stiffness, better day-to-day -day functioning, and a decreased risk of developing irreversible joint damage. What do you need to know prior to starting a TNF blocker? TNF blockers are not necessary for all patients who have inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis. For most patients, trying more traditional DMARDs first is very appropriate. In fact, most patients requiring a TNF blocker need to remain on methotrexate. Evidence has shown TNF blockers do not work as well without methotrexate, or if not methotrexate, another traditional DMARD. TNF blockers are expensive. An appropriate medication insurance coverage should be in place prior to starting a TNF blocker. Your rheumatologist or his or her team will be able to help you navigate the insurance system to ensure you get the medication you need. Prior to starting a TNF blocker, you will be checked to ensure you have never been exposed to tuberculosis. TNF blockers have been shown to cause reactivation of TB in previously exposed people. If you have been exposed, this can be effectively treated and should not prevent you from receiving a TNF blocker. What are the potential risks of TNF blockers? Some patients may develop an injection site or infusion reaction. Patients on TNF blockers are at higher risk for developing serious infections. If you have a serious illness or fever while on a TNF, you should skip your scheduled dose until better. Always check with your doctor if you are unsure. TNF blockers may also not be appropriate for patients at risk for heart failure, certain lung problems, viral hepatitis, and neurological diseases. There may be a small increase for certain forms of cancer. There is no clear data to suggest whether or not TNF blockers are safe during pregnancy. Ensure your doctor knows your complete medical history. Also, discuss any planned vaccinations as some may be unsafe while on a TNF blocker. When used in the right circumstance, TNF blockers are a safe and effective treatment choice for inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis. This has been a brief discussion on TNF blockers at EdmontonRheumatology.com. For more on TNF blockers, please read the information provided on our website and, of course, discuss it further with your doctor.